Long-time supporter, first-time chimer inner. <laughs> There's a persistent rumor of a Z2 Extreme AI chip. Now, fundamentally, the AI on these APUs are generally external to the GPUs as NPUs. For a gaming handheld, which the Z2 Extreme will be dedicated to you, what purpose would that AI functionality possibly serve? And that's an interesting question, Oliver, because uh, I'm struggling to come up with much of a reason. Well, you know, you could run auto SR on it, right? That's... That was going to be my, wow. my, my rejoiner to something you <laughs> okay. possibly could have come up with. Sorry to but spoil yes, it. Beyond, beyond that, yes. Uh, maybe they could run something else on it, like, you know, frame gen. I would expect that, like, maybe in the instance that, you know, you have a Microsoft console potentially or a Microsoft branded handheld that has these features. Maybe they would try to push out more stuff running on the MPU. I'm not sure if that's like a dead end or if it's going to be something that's going to be explored, but certainly like Microsoft's early uh, explorations in the space with the Snapdragon X Elite chip show that they're willing to tool and tinker with this stuff. So hopefully they would do something. But yeah, at the moment, it's just like auto SR and, and nothing else I can really think of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much where I sit on it. Um, Alex? I would say frame gen. Um, uh, if you recall that really awkward quote a long time ago about what FSR 4 would be, did mention frame gen, uh, and they mentioned specifically low-powered handheld devices. Mm. Um, maybe AMD is cooking up something there for an ML version of frame generation. Currently, if you use FSR 4, it still uses the same analytical version of frame generation that was used in FSR 331. Uh, so um, yeah, maybe that would be something they would add. I mean, you have stuff like loss of scaling using machine learned frame generation on very low power devices at a cost, of course, you can't do everything with it uh, in terms of quality. But um, you know, that's stuff that I could imagine this could be like, maybe. Okay. Uh, it's interesting, Oliver, because I've read a rumor um, the, the Z2 line, which seems to basically at this point be an amalgamation of pretty much every <laughs> gaming handheld APU that AMD has done, may even be getting a um, a version of the Steam Deck's Van Gogh, uh, codenamed Erith, Erith Plus. Yes. Intended to power um, devices with a, with a much higher power limit. Well, much higher. 20 watts TDP is not that much higher than 15. But yeah, that that's that's kind of, I mean, the whole Z2 thing has been quite interesting from my perspective, just to see that it seems to be like a sort of cobbled together array of, as I said, pretty much every gaming generation APU they're able to get their hands on at this point. Yeah, I'm at least happy that on the low end with like the Z2 Go, that's a lot faster than like the Ryzen Z1, the base model there, which only had like yep. four CUs and it was pretty badly cut back. At least like the Z2 Go, and I think I think it's maybe the Z2A or something from the, the yeah, the that's what that's Air the rumor, yeah, yeah, that that, mm -hmm. that is at least still a good baseline for performance. And indeed, what we've seen with these handhelds is often you get to that kind of Steam Deck baseline, and then you can kind of creep to plus 20 plus 30 percent at the same wattage maybe and then you kind of cap out <laughs> so it's not that exciting in a lot of these instances to actually get that scaling there but maybe we'll, you know z2 extreme with an, an npu if microsoft supports that to a significant degree who knows what they could do with it i mean i'm sure they could do something interesting mm -hmm. yeah the earth plus seems to have had a um an increase to its full power um and also um faster memory support which uh actually it could actually result in a fairly decent um, performance uplift, well, f f fairly decent, reasonable, let's say. <laughs> but I guess we'll just have to wait and see.